And we're back for another exciting episode of Kicking It with Keisha and Casey. That's Keisha and I'm Casey. Here on Kicking It with Keisha and Casey, we like to laugh, joke, have fun, but most of all, we also like to spotlight what's going on around our community. So today, our special guest is Diane C. She is the founder of the nonprofit For Your Young King, and she's going to give us some information about it. So Diane, tell us a little bit about your organization mm-hmm. and what it means and what type of things you do. Okay, thanks. First, thank you for having me. Um, I appreciate you all taking the time to highlight what is going on in, in Detroit because there's a lot of things going on. Um, for Your Young Kings is a mentorship program, a nonprofit mentorship program for young boys and men. Um, we Right now we have two programs that we're offering. For, is a virtual program for boys 8 to 12. And then we have a leadership academy for boys that's 13 to 18 years old. Um, we are a new nonprofit. We used to be a um, after school program and that's kind of how mm. we started out. Okay. Um, we started out as a after school program. Um, and at that point, um, my son, I noticed a change in him when he was eight years old. and. When I did, I, I started looking for programs that I could put him in. Um, and a lot of the programs, there were some programs out there, but for what I found, a lot of them, he had to be 18 or 14, I'm sorry, 13. He had to be 13 or 14 years old. And so I said, you know what, let me see what we can do for, you know, an eight year old. And the school he was in, I worked with the men's club, the dad's club. There was some uh, few other men that was there that was often in the um, school, okay. and and they helped pull that program together as an after school program. But um, that's kind of the start of where we where we started. What types of things did you do for like the young? It, it was, so when it started off as the after school program, mm-hmm. it was still just for young boys. Yes. So what it started out, it was a 12 week program. Okay. Um, and so what what I would do was just build a curriculum um, for whoever the guests, the male guests that came in and they would have a predetermined topic. They came in, they talked to the boys. Mm. And then often I came back at the latter part of it. I do a lot of team building exercises. So I was always coming up with something. They were blindfolded, tied together, hopping over stuff. Um, we also did a financial literacy um, program with them as well and they had to build um, a budget they were all clustered together like a household and so that was great um, they I, I, they really did good as a matter of fact five of our leadership academy mentors we call them lambs are um, were part of the original group okay, okay. so um, it's really exciting to see them when they were eight and nine years old and now they're like 15 and 16 and way taller than me mm-hmm. <laughs> um, but um, they are very instrumental in this particular Men Holding Strong event. Okay. Um, and this uh, um, particular event is going to be happening on June 18th. Um, it's a community engagement event. The focus is to support our men, uplift our men, encourage them, and uh, to show our young boys too that they have support here in the community, to see that they have positive leadership. And sometimes that's not always um, presented in the best manner. So we really, for your young kings, want to represent to mm. everyone what it is a black male or male stands for. Paul, oh, when you said represent, represent. I wanted mm-hmm. to jump up and scream mm-hmm. because that's what we need because. Our our young men, our or our young men, our older men, our black men are shown in a, such a negative light, mm-hmm. and it's like it's really a black eye to our community. Yes. But when you say represent, that's exactly what we need. If one mm-hmm. of the things I like that I, <gasps> I learned, you know, even with just getting all the way here, because like I said, that the after school program, my son was eight, he's fifteen now, so it took this long to get here. But over time, I, I, I talk to young men, I interview young men, and when I say, hey, you know, I want you to be a mentor, I will often get, um, they would look at me a little puzzled, 
Mm-hmm. And I can tell, you know, one guy was like, I don't have anything to give. And mm-hmm. so now I see young men who want to step up, but they don't feel like they have it in them. Mm-hmm. And I'm not saying that's They're every man, right but right. And yeah. I, I had to tell them, look, I'm looking for, if you are a man who works, who has a skill, you know how to speak, you can talk to someone. If you can talk, you got a story to tell. Mm-hmm. If you're alive, you have a story to tell. And I want your story. For your young kings, want your story. We're often looking for guest speakers to come in. Our virtual program um, just finished in this in this past winter. Um, we have another program coming up um, in October. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a six week program. It's virtual. So um, again, there will be a predetermined topic, um, and that just helps give us all guidance. Um, but we're going to be looking for men. So please, you know, go to the website foryouryoungkings.org. Um, click on become a mentor and just sign up. Don't worry about what you think you don't have. You have something in you, and it's more valuable than you even realize. Um, you have experience. You know? Absolutely. Yeah. And we want regular spin. We want regular. We don't, you know, <laughs> Every we, we recognize that in every household, everybody don't have a doctor. You know what I'm saying? Everyone, everyone don't have some, maybe someone working in the plant, which used to be a way for a lot of, a lot of men to take care of their families. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, if I may share a, a quick story real quick, I was went to go get my son some checker fries because he likes checker fries. Okay. And I passed out this to, um, this is a, one of our flyers. I passed this out to the guy at the window and I asked him to be a part of the mentor program. And he looked at me and I said, I need you, you know, I mm-hmm. need you because you're, you're, you're the manager, you're running this place, you know what I'm right, saying? So right. that means you have skills, you know how to multitask. You know how to resolve conflict. You know how to, you know, critical thinking. All of those skills are transferable. So don't mm-hmm. think because you're not, don't have this PhD or all these credentials behind your name that it doesn't matter. It, they forget what it takes to even yes, do that type of job. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. And so those are valuable skills that we want to share with our mentees, with our mentors, with our lambs, and with anyone who may need that service. Okay. And that's what we're hoping to grow into as well. And on top of that, I'm quite sure mentors can learn something from the mentees as well. Yes, mm-hmm. and, and that was the whole point of when trying to pull this organization together. That was how I intended to layer it. Mm-hmm. Um, we have our mentees. Um, the program is for our mentees. And so let me just say that the program is for the boys eight to 18. But okay. because we layer it, we have the mentees, 8 to 12. We have the lambs who have a program. They must do community service. Mm-hmm. They must provide virtual support. Okay. They are um, always there to be part of the conversation. Um, so they bring support to the mentees. That's part of their program. Yeah. Um, and then our mentors are usually men, 18 or older. They come in and they provide the conversation, the support that we need when we're on virtual. And then we also have what we call um, network facilitators. And those are more members of the organization. They've been in this with me along the way. And so they a little bit know, have a little bit more guidance and they do the training as well um, for the program, so. Okay, I really like that you're you know kind of focusing and zeroing in on the young men simply because like right now what we're seeing is that age group of men don't have a respect for life Mm -hmm. human life you know you see a lot of shootings and killings and then you look and you see like oh 16 year olds Mm -hmm. kill the five-year-old execution style or you know 17 year old mysteriously disappears you know has his cousin disappeared at 17 yeah you know so those types of things it's like they don't really understand the difference they can make if they gave something else and put something else out into the community the talents that they actually have inside i think you know it's unfortunate that some of our young boys don't actually get a chance to feel to get recognized and mm-hmm. have that feeling of being proud yes. accomplishment they don't know what that means so without having that mm-hmm. it kind of downgrades what they do but once they feel that they want to keep 
getting yes. driving for it. You know yes. what I'm saying? It's, it's like an sad. adrenaline yes. rush. Like, oh, they're proud of me. Oh, I mm-hmm. did good. It's like making Absolutely. A's and B's. And yes. it feels good to yes. get that praise. And, and a lot of our young men, a positive yes. adrenaline. A lot of our young men don't get that. They don't get a lot of support from their families, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. Um, it was a commercial that I saw the other day and the guy's laying there and he's got a weight on it and he can't even lift it up. And the other guy comes along and says, hey, let me help you out. And he's like, no, nah, I got it. Like my family would kill me if I, you know, reached out. Like I can't, you know, and he wouldn't wow. accept the help yeah. because of how it would look to other people. Right. You know, and it's just like, it's unfortunate that a lot of people, like you said, they won't step up because they don't think they have what it takes. Mm-hmm. They don't think that they have anything to give. Oh, I'm just a store manager. But like you said, that comes with skills. Yeah. Critical thinking. Absolutely. Leadership. Yeah. You know, and they don't look at the little things that it's building them up to be. So mm-hmm. I'm glad that, you know, it's giving our young boys a chance to see something different. Absolutely. You know, another alternative. Absolutely. And so that that's one of the things that we focus on. One of our core values is just being able to provide new experiences mm-hmm. for our young our young boys. And one of the um, things that they won out of the, the last group, him and his father won a, um, an experience to go to yoga. So that was quite mm-hmm. funny. They was like, what? Okay. Yoga? Mm-hmm. You know, so we have other things and any sponsorships we're asking for. Um, businesses or organizations Wonder. please go to our website for your young mm-hmm. you can donate there um if you just want a partnership you know you can you can click on contact us and um <gasps> send out you know information there we're on facebook also at for your young kings um and then we're on instagram at four two y kings with the s on instagram mm-hmm. um come out Men holding strong, June eighteenth. It is um, Father's Day weekend. $1. Yeah, tickets there, are one dollar. There's going to be just events. $1. Yes, they're mm-hmm. going to be small events that you know it's something to do. I want people to come out, and it's all about loving on our men, encouraging them, mm-hmm. appreciating them, and, and you'll come out and see that there's some things for you. Mm-hmm. Because one of the events is we need all of our men, our, their muscles, their strong muscles, and it's all about collectively showing the community that men got it here. Yes. Men got it, and you all are supported, and that's what this is all about. Yeah, just showing young boys how to grow into men and actually be real men again. Yes. You know? Yeah. And yeah. And, and I do want to say this. Mm-hmm. Um, I had, I had um, someone say to me a while back, you're a woman. How How is it that you're doing this? I am a mm-hmm. woman. I'm a parent of a single mama, a single uh, son, a male child. I'm sorry. Male child. I'm trying to deposit as much as I can into him. But I recognize that. He needs a male in his life too. I recognize that. And so that's what pushes me. Mm -hmm. You know, I have surrounded myself around good men who help me pull this off. No, I I can't pull this off by myself. So I need men, I need you, good men that's willing to, and all men are good. Let me just say that. (laughs) I'm gonna say that no, because that's that's part of my campaign. That's part of my campaign because you are good. Good things take time. Okay, mm-hmm. and be the good wherever you at, and that's that's gonna be my push forever and forever. You are good, and mm-hmm. if nobody told you that, you are. You are good. That's come right. out June 18th. Men holding strong. Please come and support for your young kings. Org. Okay. Well, thank you, Diane. We appreciate you coming out. Hopefully, yes. you can come back and um, we can go more in depth about some other things, and maybe we can put something together okay. for the boys with a sponsorship from us and. Um, see where that can go so um shout out to our sponsors ace of spades gentleman club on west eight mile and vinyl's boutique 3246 west davis and we'll be back and we're back with another special guest i'd like to introduce to everybody mr kev jordan hi i'm sorry to you. <laughs> kev is the owner of the clothing line hi i'm toxic He's going to give us some information about hot. I'm toxic. <laughs> uh, let me see. Yeah, how did you get started with, like, what made you say, let me, hi, I'm toxic? Where did that come from? 
Um, it started with these cabin trips I throw every year. Mm -hmm. Big mm. cabin trips, like everybody from all over, they come through. We just get one big cabin party. Um, and one of them went viral. So, mm. like, okay. so they was like, oh, y'all toxic. He toxic this. And I see you, you toxic. You no, know, I had it on live and stuff. So they like, so just everybody just started calling me toxic when I, when I got back to Detroit, because we do the uh, cabins in Tennessee. Okay. So, Got back to Detroit and like, hey, toxic, and it's, you know, <laughs> stuff like that. I'm like, you're calling me toxic. I'm, I just like to turn up. You know, I'm I'm one of the turn up people. So, okay. So it just stuck with me so much. I was like, you know what? I'll be toxic. Like, I am whatever you, you know, it's more like a, um, like a comment. Okay. And it started off as a comment, like, you know what? I'm, I'm toxic then. I'm toxic, you know. So, the next cabin trip, I had I had somebody put it on a shirt for me. Mm -hmm. Um, I was like, yeah, just put this. He was like, you sure? I was like, yeah, just put that. And that's it. <laughs> it's like uh, it's like a statement shirt. So when I <laughs> when I wore it, the picture went viral. Like I took a picture out there, me drinking, like holding a bottle up to my mom, drinking stuff like that. Then. You know, it just stuck with me. Everybody started asking, like, hey man, what can I get that shirt? What can I get this and that? I ain't know nothing about selling clothes. I mean, I knew everything about selling. I used to work at Miss Allen, but mm. I didn't know about selling my own merchandise. Right, mm -hmm. right. So it was like, um, got some info, like how to start it, looked at YouTube, because when nobody helped me, they had clothing lines. So, unfortunately. So, um, well, once I, once I started with it, they thought I was serious. Then they started okay. getting me info. Okay. They didn't think I was serious. But um, I looked up the name, made sure it wasn't taken. LLC did it. Let it go on for a minute because I didn't think it was going to last as long. And then it blew up way faster than I thought it would. Okay. So I had to catch up with it. I'm still catching up. But I'm doing good. Okay. Um, <laughs> it... it now, like fast forward, I I done shipped it to overseas, all over the, all over the um, United States, pretty much, Hawaii, Florida, uh, oh, okay. Texas, worldwide, now. Arkansas, everywhere. So now, do you? I see you have the t-shirt on the cap. What is your line? Do you have um, shorts? Do I you have, have socks? Mm -hmm. Do you have like what is all does your line consist of? Oh, it's your merch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yes, the Those merch. Eggs. Mm -hmm. I got the hoochie mama shorts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hoochie mama. I'm back. Hoochie I'm back. Hoochie mama. Hoochie mama. That, that's coming. I'm, I'm, May have to get the these. Oh, I am. To okay. Hi, I'm toxic. So wow. Coming back. Good mm. stretch, good material. Logo <laughs> inside, you know. Just know it's mine, it's mine, it's mine. Okay, okay. So I like that. See anybody else too. making this? It's fake. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they ain't gonna have the material I got. You know, stuff like let that. Let me see. Let me feel oh, it. There you go. And I got. Um. What else in this bag? All right, boom, I got the socks, the 420 socks. Oh, okay. That's all the smokers. I got four different kinds. Uh, boom, black, big logo. For my stoners, you know. <laughs> A big logo, small all over, and I got the reverse for both of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And that's a black pair. These are the shorts mm -hmm. as well. Okay. Got black, got purple, got white, got blue, got red. Now, how much do these generally go for? The or? shorts are 20. Okay. Oh, got my cards. Yeah. So we'll very, definitely you know. say, um, give you a shout out to your website. You do have. Um, um, website got hacked, but I'm about to make another. I'm making, I'm in the process of making another website, but I'm gonna do a okay. Facebook page so my people can shop with me. Okay. Um, they don't have to talk to me directly. I know uh, people. Right, can zero in on that a little later. 
<laughs> so on the back of those, I got the scan, like the, got the QR codes. So one of them is to my music, because I'm a rapper first. And then the other one is my Instagram. Okay. And we can get him to get a shot of these and post it at the end of the video or something like that. So we can have access to it. Okay. Yeah, so most most of my popularity came from the rapping and I throw parties and stuff like that. So always busy. Okay. Like I told you, like I'm always doing something. I could I barely sleep. <laughs> hey, the money so once stop. it start taking off, that's you know. I mean, you know, hey. you never seen Ben Franklin with his eyes closed. So. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> well, good. And then, how is it as far as like you started this based out of Detroit? How hard is it to break into this industry with the clothing line with all of the Detroit artists? It seems like it's a hungry field for fashion and things that are going on. So how hard was it? I know at first you said, you know, you had to go to YouTube and then once you did that and they saw you were serious, how did your actual help come through? Well, I always been like a trendsetter somewhat. Mm -hmm. um, they actually grew to it pretty quick. Like surprisingly, like it, the hardest part for me was like being overwhelmed with it okay. because I'm doing, like, I was doing about, like, two, three shows a week. Then I had to do the clothing. I had to learn how to do the clothing. Okay. Um, shout out to Quasi. He showed me how to do my own press machine, stuff like that. Um, me show my, on my design. She made my logo. Me strands, check her out. Um, yeah, and they, they showed me, like, everything I could put it on. So my mind, I'm... My it's mind stay loaded. running like I'm like, <laughs> you know what? I'm about to put it on pillows. I'm about to put it on this. I'm about to put it on that. So I got a pillow. Mm. I got I'm, got robes coming. I got more hats coming. Uh, socks, everything. Now, how big of a part do you think that going viral is what really helped catapult it? So you caught onto that little that wave and just rolled it, and now it just took off. Oh, uh, just that I know that I know how to handle it. Like I know mm -hmm. how to. I know how to handle everything coming to me because I'm used to it. Okay. Like I go viral like every other couple of months. Like it's okay. I got used to it, saw the feedback. I know what to respond to, not to respond to, you know, mm -hmm. stuff like that. So none of it none of it get like to my head. Okay. So I know okay. how to and me being in the uh Mr. Allen's and stuff, like the customer service industry, I know how to handle customers. Mm, okay, so, so that experience that. actually, and see, people think being in retail or working yeah. in that, like um, Diane was just talking about being in those certain jobs, you think that, oh, I'm not really doing anything, but you're actually building leadership skills, mm -hmm. you know, customer service mm -hmm. skills, critical thinking skills. So, those jobs do help you when you catapult into something further. So, never think that you're not getting Wonder. something out of it. Cause if you really look at what you're doing and pull from the things that you're making happen, you'll see your strengths, mm -hmm. you know? So right. young black man in the city of Detroit, like these are the types of things that we want to see going viral, able to take that and say, Hey, I can keep this going and able to keep it going. Mm -hmm. And not only that, to get our support, We'll go support Gucci and Fendi and yeah. Louis Vuitton. Yeah. And sometimes we'll give our own a yeah. hard time and expect discounts and, you know, so they got to eat too. the same material stuff. Like, I get that same, same material. material. Like, yeah. Same material. So this is nothing but a different name on it with the same materials, Gucci, quality. Louis, all that stuff. Everything is quality. Mm -hmm. That's it. Quality. And this is, now how long have you been doing this? Oh, uh, this is my second year. Mm, okay. Yeah, this is my second year. Um, well, congratulations. I had a very plain, like, I didn't have a logo at first. I had words. It was just, hi, I'm toxic, and that's it. Okay. So that, <laughs> that started catching, and I was you like, grew. yeah. Mm -hmm. They told me everything to do. I'm like, you know what? I'm on it. And uh, okay. for everybody that's coming up with a call line and stuff like that, like for all my people that's trying to get something mm -hmm. going, I was going to ask I help that. out too, like, Midi info, I got it. Show you how to get your LLC. Um, come to me, I'll show you how to press up shirts. Doing it, about to start the embroidery, everything like that. And I have a manufacturer, so mm. I have plugs on pretty much everything that I didn't have 
at first anyway, so. Okay, and see, those are the type of things you need, like, so often we hear black entrepreneurs saying, you know, once I got the knowledge, you know, I want to share, but you have some who don't want to share, mm-hmm. who they, don't want to see the next person, you know, succeed, unfortunately. Girl, you know how that goes. Mm-hmm. Like, even when you're on top, you don't want to see nobody on top with you, don't make no sense. No and it's enough down. to go around for yeah. everybody. That's what so they don't money. see. And keep mm-hmm. that harmony going. So if we could all just become like a collective in a sense mm-hmm. and be able to network with each other and lift each other up, lift each other's business up, promote each other's business. You know, what each one teach one. It's not just about you. It's bigger than that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's why we always want to showcase, you know, local entrepreneurs or people that's trying to make a difference. People that want to show other people how they can come up as well. Even mm-hmm. in your humble beginnings, you still want to show, hey, reach out to me. I can show you how to do all of this, yeah, you know? Sure. So those are definitely the things that we need, even with just going back to Miss Diane with the, with the men holding strong and the young kings, four, um, four, four young, young kings, kings, you know, uplifting our men and showing them something different they can do just out of a creative idea. You can think of something like, hey, research it find out how you can patent it or get you a model made and reach out to mentors we need mentors and people that they can look to to get the information because sometimes it's not readily available yeah. right and then you can do things like this you can put your own brand out there and i'm big on supporting black business like i yes if y'all ever seen me y'all know before the call the line i only rock my friend stuff like Shout out to John World Brothers. Shout out to shout out to Lefty. He got his phone. Like I got, I got so many people with their own stuff going on. I buy all their stuff. I make sure I post everything that they got going on. And where Whatever. can people follow you at? Follow me on Instagram at I am Kev Jordan. Wonder. Run those followers up. Run those views up. I got videos on the way. A bunch of music coming out. Uh, about to drop a mixtape. Got more toxic stuff, bags, everything. Like, um, so besides the clothing line, you you said you rap as well. I'm a rapper first. Yeah. Okay, I'm a rapper first. Now, um, how did that? So let's go in. Let's dig. Let's dig. <laughs> so Kev Jordan, he's actually a rapper as well. So how did that start? Where did you get those beginnings from? Um, from my brothers. Mm-hmm. I, I just knew how to rap real good. Mm. They pushed me to do more. So around like 2015, I start really pushing. Okay. Um, came out with my first video, do it for real. Second video, um, on the block, on the block went like numbers went crazy. So I just kept at it. Mm-hmm. Start doing shows. Um podcast appearances, stuff like that. I took two years off. Okay. Because of relationship. Never <laughs> uh-oh, again. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Never again, never again. Let the pussy interrupt the money. I was, no. I was trying to be a good guy. You know, the, the good guy. Like, family over everything. No, forget that. Well, hey, you come Dang. back on the relationship show to talk about that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm really, like, just getting back into it, so... Uh, mm. Just getting my name back out here. My name ringing bells again. Thank God. Now, what's your rap name? It's Kev Jordan. Oh, okay. okay. I keep it all over here. Jordan, everything is hey. real. My, uh, my rap name, my business name, everything is just Kev Jordan. Okay. Um, I just, let me see. I just dropped the video what, in February. I got another one coming up. I just shot. Uh, shout out to Salsa. Shout out to Red Zone King. I got about three, four, five videos coming before August. Okay, tell okay. our viewers where they can find your music. Look me up on YouTube, Apple Music, Title, Google, whatever you want to look, Kev Jordan, that's it. That's it. Okay. Kev Jordan, 88 is my YouTube. Uh, check me out on Twitter, Kev Jordan, or Hi, I'm Toxic, or Big Henny. Um, I, I came back on the scene with the with the Big Henny, so Big Henny went viral. Okay. Everything I everything I'm dropping is getting played in the club. 
I don't know if I can cuss on it. Can I cuss on it? Yeah, you can. Talking yeah. that shit just dropped. <laughs> Talking that shit just dropped. Um, I got so many bangers on the way. Like, y'all really need to tune in with me. Because this summer is my summer. Mm. Right out. Okay, yeah. Support our young black brother. Just support our black man, period. Especially when you see him doing something that's positive. You know, these are the things that you want to follow. These are the things that you want to support. These are the things that you want to come out and just say, hey, let me give this young man a shot. You know what I'm saying? Let me see what he's rapping about. And, and I can actually you know, rap. You know what I'm saying? Like, and he can actually rap. Hip-hop, so maybe we'll have party, to come back like, I do that. a little rap session. Yeah, for sure. You know, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm not shy at all, so. Now, have you incorporated the high I'm toxic like into your rap music? Have I you brought did. that together? I just did. Okay. My, my mixtape coming out is called I Am Toxic. Okay. So <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Like so everything what is you've more all like, been waiting for. <laughs> so this is the turn up music that all y'all wanted from me. Okay. Mm-hmm. This this the the feel good. You ain't gotta be fighting in the club music. This all turn up. Uh, have a drink with me. See a shot. Take a shot. We started that. See a shot, the way. take a shot. Okay. By the way, we started that. See, see a, a shot, shot, take a shot. No, no, no. I want y'all to know that uh, we made that viral with 2019, 2020, something like that. At the mm-hmm. cabin trip, they saw us saying, see a shot, take a shot. They, every, it went everywhere. So okay. okay. Now I'm coming out with a song called See a Shot, Take a Shot. I'm going to need y'all to tune in for it. Okay. Okay. Well, we definitely appreciate you coming out. Um, Letting us know. And where can people get your merchandise? Um, DM me on Instagram. DM me on Facebook. If you got my Facebook, KF Jordan. Or Henny Jordan. Um, I'm actually just uh, make another... Will make my public page. is Hi, I'm Toxic. So okay. I'm still working on that. Okay. And I'm making another Instagram. Hi, I'm Toxic. So I, got, I can separate the two. Okay. Like I don't have to keep on putting everything I drop. And I have men, men clothing on the way, like a whole outfit. But I got so many women, so many women followers and supporters. So many women are toxic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but I love them. You talking about, yeah, they are. I love them. Look at that. I love okay. them. You know. Okay. So, yeah. Definitely loving them, brand. Take care of me. Vice versa. Whatever you want, I got it. I can get it. If I ain't got it, I'm going to make it. You don't make it happen. Okay, okay, so you'll do special requests, special orders if somebody oh, wants yeah, to get I do, something Yeah, I do custom okay. colors and stuff, too. Um, costs a little bit more, but it's worth it. Mm-hmm. So whatever you want, oh, whatever yeah. color shoe you think you could come up with, whatever it looks like, I can make it. And, and the material feels real good. It feels like good quality. Oh, yeah, I had to get the best. Good quality I told them, material. I told them, like, I all that... It. All that Gucci yeah. expensive, these not even expensive, you hear me? So mm-hmm. I could be charging more, but I'm not. Because I like to see people in myself. Okay. Like it's not about the money, it's more about my image. Mm-hmm. You know. Well, we appreciate you coming out. I appreciate you. Kev Jordan, out. Hi I'm Toxic. He also has a album about to drop, Hi I'm Toxic. You yes. can look him up on YouTube. Yes, I just did um, that under Sammy Sosa Productions. Yep. Sammy yeah. Sosa that's, that's Productions. That's video I just dropped. Yeah. yeah. Support us so we can support you. You know, like the motto of where we um, shoot our podcast in the social club is Masterpiece. And he always says to um, to get things solved, you have to get involved. So, mm-hmm. you know, everybody get involved. Let's, let's make things better. Let's help create these mentors and show men that they can teach these young boys how to be better. You know, like we were saying earlier, it's like a a disrespect for human life. Like people don't care about it anymore. They'll take it away like that, you know, and you're taking away brothers, fathers, sons, sisters, mothers, you know, you know, mm-hmm. and it, it's sad to see it's us killing us. Mm-hmm. And you know, it, it doesn't have to be like that. Find something else to do. Yeah. Fine, you know, get into your tap into your creative side. Yeah. You know, Kevin, put together a camping trip. Put yeah, together so, a camping trip. And, you and, know, and the top and the tax side that I promote is not the violent toxic. The, All that stuff y'all be doing, <laughs> that's not it. That's this not is it. The fun, like the fun oh my God, toxic. toxic. Like I toxic I'm the one, love. 
Yeah. I can spread that love. I'm toxic. Yeah. That love is just coming off of me. Yeah. So like, I, I have a. Um, I'm about to drop my my June team shirt again. Okay. It went crazy to last that. year. June team. Um, it's more like what how I just playing the toxic. It's more like um, how how they don't like the black. Well, how they don't embrace the black community, but they want to be us. Mm-hmm. So we're toxic to them because we they're addicted to us, mm-hmm. even though they don't mm-hmm. want to, you know, right. embrace right. us. All right. There you go. You're the All most right. hated but most imitated. That's there right. Go. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. We appreciate you. Um, another exciting episode of Kicking It with, with Keisha and Casey and Jay and Steve will be back next week. All right.